Coming up on Around Kern County, a new month means a new way to prioritize your health. We're sharing how you can take advantage of the change in seasons and heal your body and mind. And now that it's October, it's time to think about Halloween. Stay tuned for details on a safe and fun trick-or-treating event when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off a new month with a new Grounded in Health campaign. October is Get Outside Month with an emphasis on using Mother Nature to boost our physical and mental health. This week, Public Health and Behavioral Health and Recovery Services held a press conference in partnership with Finish Line Bikes to encourage our community to enjoy the outdoor benefits of all Kern County has to offer. So when you get outside, you're actually setting your internal clock in the right direction. You're teaching your body when it's day and when it's night. And so you're actually gonna sleep better because you got outside. You're actually gonna exercise more. You're more motivated to exercise and you actually exercise more intensely when you're outdoors versus when you're in the gym. You're less bored, you're more socially active, you're seeing new scenery when you're exercising outdoors and you're also boosting your immune system by getting outside. Being outside helps set our body's internal clock and provides us with an engaging way to exercise. Not to mention, the fresh air provides a perfect way to relieve feelings of sadness and boost endorphins. Normally when we're outside, we're moving. So the physical movement, the exercise is so good for our mental health, fresh air, sunlight, being around other people. When we tend to feel very depressed or anxious, we might uh, feel drawn to being indoors, to staying in bed, to being on our own. And getting outside gets us out in the world, it gets us in the sunshine, it gets us moving, and that gets your energy flowing, it lifts your mood, it is so important for your mental health. There are so many things that Kern County has to offer our residents to get outside and enjoy beautiful scenery. We have Red Rock Canyon. We have hiking trails throughout Kern River Valley and in Tehachapi. We have Wind Wolves and we have this beautiful bike path that offers 30 paved miles for our community to get out and ride a bike, run, jog, walk, roller skate, um, skateboard, all kinds of active, safe things you can do on this bike path. If you'd like to access more information or other resources about this important campaign, please visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. Kern County Public Works is holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of October. On Saturday, October 7th, they're holding a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from nine in the morning until one in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste Thursday, October 19th at the Kern Valley Transfer Station, Saturday, October 21st in California City at 22636 Airport Way, as well as Saturday, October 28th at the Boron Recycling and Sanitary Landfill during those same times. You're encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information about these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. Public Works is also partnering with Caltrans's District 6 to help our community look its best. They're hosting two Clean California tire drop-off days on Saturday, October 7th and Saturday, October 21st to help residents get rid of old tires free of charge at local Kern County disposal sites. You can visit the Shafter Wasco Landfill or Taft Landfill from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon on Saturday, October 7th and the Bina Landfill during those same hours on Saturday, October 21st. Please make sure all tires have rims removed, are not oversized, and tarped to avoid litter. 
As a reminder, these events are for residents, not commercial waste. For more information, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with a spectacular Halloween event happening this month. Anna Marie Odo has more. Children and families are invited to 3rd District Supervisor Jeff Flores' annual Trunk or Treat event on Friday, October 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in Oildale. This free, safe and sane Halloween event is being held in partnership with the Oildale Community Action Team, where trick-or-treaters will meet north of Chester Avenue, Frontage Road, north of Norris Road. Kids are encouraged to dress up and wear a costume to the event, all while enjoying fun games and activities. District 3 is also looking for participants to sign up for the event and asking for candy donations. The deadline to get involved is Friday, October 20th. For more information or to learn more about how to join in on the holiday fun, please contact Supervisor Jeff Flores' office at 661-868-3670. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.